on stage, Max Andy Bell! Hello, Max and Ivan. Great show, really enjoyed it. Um, how did you think it went? I was happy. Um, coated with sweat afterwards, which is always a, always a good sign. And the crowd were lovely, yeah. Yeah, they were absolutely lovely crowd. Nice sellout crowd once again, which has uh, been uh, very nice. The following performance has been classified as sketch comedy. <laughs> it's not impro, so there'll be none of this. All right, we've established that I'm Nelson Mandela, that I'm going to a nightclub that's made out of lentils, <laughs> and that I'm on the moon! Wacky! But what we need now <laughs> is a celebrity that I've got to sing a song about. Margaret Thatcher! Brilliant! <laughs> and it's not topical satire, so there'll be none of this. Nick Clegg! <laughs> More like Nick... Shit! <laughs> we were at university and um, I did some stand-up comedy at uh, a new writing night, um, which was good fun. And Max saw it and thought, oh, I'd quite like to write myself into that. Did. So he went wrestling, because uh, Max is a pro wrestler. Um, he was wrestling in Italy on his own. Um, well, I mean, he was wrestling against people when he was wrestling, but a lot of the time he was just on his own. He, he wrote a song uh, for the both of us. And, um, and he came back and he said, Ivan, I've got a song I think would be good for the two of us. The Princess and the Prince. A long time ago in a faraway town lived a beautiful princess with hair long and brown. She loved all her subjects who were noble and good, even down to the lepers who lived in the woods. <laughs> I mean, we don't really try and compare ourselves to other people. We don't really... Because um... we're like totally unique. <laughs> yeah. Do you find it hard writing for just two characters, or do you think that... I find it hard to write for a van. He's quite limited. But um, other than that, it's an absolute dream. Too easy to mime, is it? <laughs> He'd look on with a sense of confusion and lust and arousal and apathy mixed with disgust. <laughs> <laughs> Van always plays the girls in every sketch. Is there a reason for that? Well, I mean, Shakespeare once said there's, there's no higher form of humour than a bearded man wearing a woman's wig. Uh, and Did he? Sonnet, Sonnet 11. We bear that in mind. I'm sure there have been. There have been times when I played a woman, I'm sure. It's just this show happens to feature recurring... Yeah, we, I don't think we did that intentionally. Uh, I just want to let my feminine side out on stage a lot more than Max does. Hiya! Come in! You look great! I seen you in ages. We lived with me up. I missed your call. I never got that text. Oh, oh we're, we're all just rubbish, rubbish aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> Each of us, we come up with an idea, um, something, and then we bounce it back and forth. We kind of um, play with it a bit, and then we sit down um, at, at a computer, and then... Heavily collaborative. It's kind of a devised process, and that's what we see through I to the end. I think you can see that in the writing, because I feel like there's an initial idea, and then someone says, what would be more sick than that, <laughs> and what would be even more sick than that, and it kind of ricochets. Some kind of process, yeah. Yeah, just obviously, I'm sure more or less the same process that everyone does in their own way but yeah toying playing with ideas i think we each see we we each see things in, from different perspectives but find the same thing funny which is kind of probably the nub crux gist and brouhaha of the whole collaborative process i'm smaller than max so i see things from a shorter way <laughs> we do a bit of stand up as well on the indeed. on the circuit. On the and we've been to many very strange and uh, small horrible little towns yeah. and we've we've met a lot of very bad stand up comedians mm. um, not naming any names um, mainly because they're not known um, <laughs> for a reason um, and yeah we just we just had to put this on as a sketch and it was um, it's just so much fun to play we had the idea of yeah uh, well we, like watching them we always wanted to do something with a with a wretched uh, stand-up comedian and then yeah we brought in the idea of the conscience and then it became yeah 
became a bit of a sketch. Yeah. <laughs> he's, been, he, he's, been going, he's been doing my club for 20 years and he just will not stop. So please put your hands together for Sir Laugh A Lot, Terry Peterson! <laughs> Is a classic. It's like the Mario sketch. Uh, yeah, which is a, it's been a favourite of ours for a while. That's really good, clean fun as well. That one, as opposed to the others, which sort of touch on the darker side of the material. Do you think? Yeah, I mean there are references to uh, hallucinogenic drug use and prostitution, but I suppose true, as, a, as a mother you'd be quite lenient. <laughs> um, but no, I mean we're not actually that shock centric. I, I think. Um, I mean it, we have got a bit dark in some of our sketches purely because that was what we were laughing at at the time, that's what was interesting us. But no, the Mario one, I think it's a good way to kick off the show. The mushrooms, they make you change size! I was as big as a freaking house! You're losing it! Oh, I've ah. just discovered magic stars, brother! Not, not the magic stars! Oh, no, I'll have no, no, you no, 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 oh, God, and no. you're invincible! Jesus. The ukulele, uh, I strummed it uh, on stage and uh, something must have happened. Uh, I must have walked on it backstage because it was horribly out of tune. I had to play on uh, three of the four strings because one of them was so bad I could, I could just not strum. Lying in bed, you smoke a cigarette. I've stayed awake to impress you. <laughs> the things we've just done, I will never forget. But there is something I must confess to. You're wrapped in my arms, our troubles melted away. The dawn is just breaking, it's sunny. I roll to your side, take a deep breath and say, Sorry, I don't have any money. <laughs> <laughs> Awkward, isn't it, son? <laughs> and what about the rapping at the end? That was, that was also fantastic. Thank you. I'm, a, I'm very much into, into hip-hop. And, uh, and Who's your yeah. favourite hip-hop artist? Oh, it, it varies. I'm liking J5. Well, I'm like, I've loved J5 for years. Mm -hmm. Jurassic 5, Charlie Tuna is a, is a hero. Um, absolutely, my Do boy. Do you think you'd send the fit footage over to them, see what they think? <laughs> Um, well, we'll see how it comes out. It's a long-term goal to record with uh, with Charlie. So. It is actually his long-term goal to record with Charlie Tune. Charlie, if you're watching, I, I do. <laughs> I have the skills. Check it! The recipe made for disaster with Bizzle, the MC, and DJ the master! Don't want him, pop a scene, beef galore. But have you ever seen a few like this before? We gain notoriety, stand on a wrench. We in who's because we're hip-hop's landed gentry. Well done, all Blu-rays here or imports. Battle to the streets, I'm running red. Go! My kitchen staff were trained in Montpellier Michelin starred sous chef and sommelier Medium rare washed down with pink perrier Hung on valet so kiss my chef's terrier That's the unbelief why you pose your plan They say what's your view man I'm a carver man you cannot be fizzy, empty, and listless, bored of a text with my least favorite mistress. Which kind of beef do you like the most? Is it top size? Please only have that roast, <laughs> really mean, yeah. Man, like I never decide, give me a TiVo. Really? Never pan fried. You think of people be mine? Well, that's doubtful. Yeah. Just on my rhymes, I mean more than a mouthful. How can you hack it? You can't handle the tip. Dijon, no English, culinary disgrace. Let's write a sketch right now. Go on then. Oh. No, let's not. No. <laughs> and the careers ended there. <laughs> <laughs>